back. Today I'm actually in Anna's kitchen. Hello! It's so exciting. We're actually taking part in the Comic Relief Red Out campaign. You may have noticed my video yesterday was a little bit different. We've actually been completely silent on social media for an entire 24 hours. And this is to raise awareness for Comic Relief and their annual Red Nose Day, which is something we were saying we both have loved forever. At school, Red Nose Day is so fun. You get these little noses and they're very comfy these days. They're like foamy. One. I don't know what mine is. I think he's a doctor. <laughs> they they got got little oh yes, mine's a doctor. Hers is a chef. <laughs> um, which is a very appropriate because today we're actually going to be doing baking videos. Comic Relief is an amazing charity in the UK which helps disadvantaged people all over the UK and some of the poorest communities around the world. It's an incredible charity so we wanted to create some videos today to encourage you guys to raise money, raise awareness. We're actually going to be doing baking videos. On my channel we're going to do lemon drizzle cakes. And on mine it's like Smarty slash M&M's really mm. naughty amazing gooey cookies. I'm so excited for mm. that. So they're both really easy to make. You can take them into work or into school, sell them and raise some money and I can't wait to eat them. So should we get baking? <laughs> Let's do it. Anna's just getting the recipe up on the computer because I just realised I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> She's definitely better at baking than I am so this is definitely collaborative. So these are all the ingredients we're going to be using. We've got milk, baking powder, lots of butter, sugar, flour, lemon zest and lemon juice and more sugar. Why are there two sugars? What's the difference? So half <laughs> the sugar is for the cake. And then the granulated sugar. Oh, it's for the topping. The oh, topping. that's so good. I knew that. I so knew that. <laughs> also, look how fun these toppings are. Raspberry and strawberry, like, dried I think, like, bits. Like, freeze-dried. We're also, we've got eggs there as well. We're also going to try and put red dye into the cakes to make them red nose day appropriate because it's so much more fun than yellow, let's be honest. And we're going to try and put them in cups. This is all very experimental. <laughs> I think it's going to work. Fingers crossed. <laughs> let's try. We're going to preheat the oven to 180, is it? Yeah, 180. So, get that oven all nice and hot. There you go. Yeah. I'm going to list the full ingredients and instructions under the description box <laughs> in case this isn't clear, but we're going to basically mix everything together in a big bowl and it's going to taste delicious. First thing I'm going to do is sift the flour into this big bowl here. Pour it in and then give it a good shake. I always think this bit's really fun. Give it a little tap. And then it makes the flour all nice and smooth. Ta da! Now I'm gonna add in my butter. Not much butter in this, it's very healthy. A couple of hundred grams. <laughs> I'm gonna add in the butter and the sugar. Pull that all in. I'm now adding one tablespoon of baking powder. You look so professional. Do look. I? Yeah, you, look, you know what you're talking about. My little head yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add four eggs. This is the bit where I spill eggs all over Anna's lovely <gasps> clean kitchen. How dare you. I don't think there's a way of doing this without making a bit of a mess. I'm actually quite good at cracking eggs, she says. Oh, I thought you were going to do that when one hand did then. Oh no, I'm not that good. It's going to be like, whoa, very impressed. Oh, the pressure. <laughs> I'm now going to add in my lemon zest. Four tablespoons. The first one was a teaspoon. <laughs> <laughs> the baking powder was a teaspoon. The milk is a tablespoon. <laughs> Definitely said the wrong thing. All the directions are being. <laughs> okay, ready? Four. Yeah, please. four. I'm now going to make Anna mix it all together because I just feel like you'll be better at this job. <laughs> so we're using the electric whisk and mixing everything together until it's nice and smooth. Like this video if you're a bowl licker. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now we're going to add in some of the red dye and so I, see how red we can get the mix. I just start dropping it in, I'd say like five drops. Okay. It'll go pink first. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> kind of more of like a mauve, <laughs> but I think it's cool. It's interesting. Let's see what it turns out like when it's cooked. Yeah. We have these muffin cake cases, muffin cases. Oh, look how cool! Muffin cake cases. Muffin cases. <laughs> Muffin cases. And we're going to oh, put exciting. these in here. Well, it's kind of hard to do one handed, but I'm basically going to place all of these into the holes. Anna's found her ice cream scooper and she this has thing. this theory that this might be the best way to scoop I don't the know. mix into here. I mean, it looks sloppy enough that you don't really need to do that. Oh, look at that. Mm. 
Now I know the color doesn't look great, but I <laughs> think they will. So great. And they'll taste great too. So they, they will particularly look good with these cases. These are now ready to go into the oven for 20 minutes. Can you do the honor of opening the... Thank you. We're gonna leave those in there for 20 minutes. We're gonna film Anna's video. Head over to Anna's channel to see us make Smarty cookies. Mm -hmm. So go watch that when you're done with this one. I'm gonna come back to you when those are ready. Eight minutes to go on these and look how much they have risen. They are looking great and they smell good too. They are ready. So we're gonna get them out and see. Big. They are big. Woo! Let's see if they kind of settle down a bit. If not, we could always chop the top off to make them a bit flat. Oh my God, they're blue. <laughs> Interesting, very interesting. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. That is so funny. They have gone a little bit blue, but oh my God, guys, they smell so good. Whilst those cool down, we are gonna make the topping, which is my favorite part. It's like lemony, <laughs> sugary goodness, and we're gonna add in the raspberry and strawberry bits just to make it a little bit special because they are red nose day lemon drizzle cups after all. Okay, so I'm gonna add in the sugar. I think I might start with like half the amount. We've got a lot of fresh lemon juice here, but if we run out, if it's not juicy enough, we've got some of this lemon juice to add. So I'm just gonna start mixing in the, the lemon. Mix that all in. Yeah. This is the best bit. It's so <laughs> lemony sugar. It makes me wanna have a crepe right now. That looks good. Yeah, it's good. Good yeah. amount of runniness. You want it to be able to be like spreadable. You also need the crunch of the sugar. Once the cakes have cooled down, I think we're going to put a few holes in them so that when we spread this on top, it kind of seeps into the cake and makes them nice and juicy. I'm going to take this little metal stick and I'm going to put a hole in each one. I'm not going to go crazy because I think it will naturally just go in. I'm just going to put I'll have a couple of holes. That looks so satisfying. It is actually. Now I'm going to spread on this mixture. Probably going to go everywhere, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. Mm -mm. This might take a while, so maybe I'll, <laughs> maybe I'll come back to you when it's done. <laughs> I'm now gonna sprinkle on some of these strawberry and raspberry like sprinkles, but not too many, because they're actually really strong, like the smell, they smell incredible, they smell really natural, but I'm just gonna put on a few. I've sprinkled these all over, it's a bit of a mess really, but they, they didn't stick that well. Once these are dry, I'm gonna take them out. Here are the lemon drizzle cups. I've laid them all out nicely to take an Instagram and a thumbnail photo. I haven't tried one yet, but I am inside. I think I might try one now actually, I'm really excited. So guys, that is how you make lemon drizzle cups. And please tweet us or send us pictures on Instagram if you make them. They are so yummy. That's they good. look really cute and I just can't wait to eat them all. I'm gonna eat four. I'm gonna link below the website where there's more information on this campaign. If you'd like to have a look, it's rednosedaycom forward. forward. <laughs> It's rednosedaycom forward slash red out. So please go check out that link and support Red Nose Day as much as you can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Anna's video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.